Hey, hey, everybody, how's it going? Reload here. <clears throat> Night, let's go back to the Troglavian sites. It's been a long time since I run these. Um, and in previous times, I only used the healers. I've, uh, I've tried to use various ships. But I kind of want to go back to the basics and try try just go back to level 1s, the, the tier 1s. Tonight, I'm going to try the Caracal. That's what we're going to drive. We're going to go with the Navy issue first. Just to see how, how difficult it is. And then we're going to ramp up the difficulty from there on. I just want to see. Like, I know Gila can do all the tier, tiers. No problem. No problem whatsoever. But let's find out what other ships can do here. Sensei Freckle, hello. David Curtis, hello. Gentlemen Gamer, 7007, everybody. Welcome. So good to have you with me. Sorry, but a little bit, a little bit delayed. But that's not a problem. But I'm going to jump right back into this beautiful game. Let's do it. Uh, Eduardo Serra, how's it going? Yeah, so a bit of a chill stream compared to... Actually, you know, last night was also kind of a chill stream. I don't count the girls versus boys stream to be uh, to be like a big stream. But last time we just did those... Um, what do you call them? The, the Dawn of Liberation sites. But tonight, let's go back and try our luck at Traglavian sites. I know that the loot table has been redistributed. I'm kind of curious how valuable will the uh, the lower tier sites will be, and let's find out. Of course, since we are running the dark sites, I am going to be using my webify with me for sure. Never, never attempt a dark side without a single web, at least, <laughs> at the very least. Um, so I've uh, I've had a bit of issues connecting my my Twitch chat to this. We'll see if the problem will just work itself out. Uh, but for now, the chat is is disabled. <laughs> for now. <laughs> How's everybody doing, by the way? Yesterday I had a great, great time streaming some No Man's Sky. Finally, finally we got the game that we really wanted to play two years ago. And I paid for it today, though, because I went to bed at like, I don't know. Sort of like 1 a.m. or maybe 2 a.m. even. By the time everything was said and done. Kevin Jones! Welcome to my live stream. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Oh, the dark sides. My friend. Oh, of course, of course. Okay, let's switch to the uh, the Fury right away. Let's go ahead. Punch the marker warp drive. Activate our defenses here. Let's orbit at roughly 7,500. I just gotta get there first. Maybe we should arc it, but I don't know. I mean, this is a, a passive fit. You know how I feel about passive fits. I'm not a big fan. Good. Great to hear, Kevin. Great to hear. So we're gonna reload our weapons to something better. Because uh, I have my precision loaded, but you never know. You never know what you're going to encounter when you first drop into the Traglavian sites. Let's open fire. We have 20 minutes. I mean, it is only tier 1, but never underestimate. Never ever underestimate <laughs> these kind of sites. Okay, let's get closer. Let's get a little bit closer. Get to 5. Uh, okay, never mind. There we go. We, we can slow the battleship down. We can lay more damage on them. I'm about to dump some products to a hub. Nice! Gonna make some dank isk, huh? Take that, Tyrannus. Take that. I can, oh yeah, right, I can't switch to the uh, the other overview. No matter how, how much I love watching the explosions, I, I can't really switch to it. Let's set the default to uh, about 6,000. That, that's a bit of a better ratio in my mind. To slow these things down. Activate my weapons on them. And we'll find out what the biocache will hold. Hey, Sinadriali, how is it going? Welcome to my live stream. Iriana Arma, hello, hello. I found a Sixth Empire Corp. Nice, David Curtis. Very nice. You found uh, the Alliance, you mean, right? Or did you find the Gold Angels? Sinat Reality doing okay and well. Great to hear. Great to hear. Thanks for being here. 
carrier ratting and watching this 100% not going to end well, but whatever. <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. You know what? Uh, teach me to carry a rat. How about this? I would love to carry a rat one day. I can fly a carrier. I can't afford one yet. So I... Uh, you know what? I need to, like... Get rid of all my gaming library and just concentrate on EVE. For roughly like a month. And then I'll be able to afford a carrier and have some fun with it. What do we have inside? Let's find out. Okay, let's switch back to the precision. Okay, a million... A million point two. Not too bad. Not great either, but better than used to be, you know? But we can't really judge by the first the first drop here. A corp makes plush replicas of EVE ships. It's great. No way! That's pretty sweet. Like, I mean, IRL, right? I'm dipping back into EVE more heavily again, kind of finish my other games. I get it, I get it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit the other way, but I feel... I feel like I'm, like, in the middle. You, you know how it is, like, you kind of get tired of EVE try the games and you kind of reach this peak like you know maybe i'm trying too many other games now and i'm gonna dip back uh, into e probably in about a month or two right before e vegas i'm gonna really really try to uh drill down into eve experience but now i'm just going hardcore into vr games um and no man's sky i i didn't know no man's sky is going to be releasing their next update like so soon okay and i predicted the i predicted correctly what kind of ships I'm going to encounter next? Good thing we have our theory. I mean, so, uh, what do you call them? Uh, precision missiles loaded. Let's go ahead. Let's mess these guys up. Yeah, so I didn't really have to have a chance to get hyped up about uh, No Man's Sky, to, to be honest. But tried it yesterday. Really like it. I'm probably going to spend like a month on it or so. Okay, we're gonna slowly, um, <laughs> slowly chisel away at the armor and shield of these ships. The carry is, a, is worth 3.3 billion is gonna guess in about 50, 60 million ticks. I'm, I'm still so unskilled with carriers, so I'm still scaling. I get it, I get it. I have no idea what, what my ticks are going to be. Um, what kind of carry are you using? Is it uh, the Nid, the Hell, or the, uh, the Galant equivalent? Oh no, my guys are out of charges. Not good. Cork is God! Welcome to my live stream. Good to have you with us, bro. One and two sets of three? Not a bad idea, actually. Not a bad idea. Because I'm a scrub, Corkis. Because I'm a scrub. <laughs> Oh yeah, why am I why am I even using my afterburner at this point in time? I shouldn't bother with it. Oh, did I target the gate? I targeted the gate. Wow, look at me. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm so good at this game. So awesome. Without a hole, you can sleep in it too. <laughs> Need an, an ill knit, and I'll get a hell once I'm allowed to our corp. The stupid subgroup you need to be in before you can use the supers and titans. I thought um, I thought knit is way better than 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 hell, but don't quote me on that. I thought that knit is like the uh, the king, the king of ratting. One point six this time. Yeah, you know what? I I feel like they really did increase the loot drops here. Granted, I've never done the tier one dark sides, to be honest. It's uh tier three is the usually what I used to go for until I lost my healer. Are these soluble in a T1 Caracal fit? Yes, so consider I am using the Caracal Navy. First two rooms were a breeze. This is the tier one. 
You can probably bump it up to tier 2. In fact, I might try it. Um, I feel like tier 1 is possible in the regular character depending on your skills. What are all these guys? Let's go, go, go. Let's orbit this uh, this beauty at a regular speed. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a corcus here and uh there we go. Oh, did I mess it up? I did mess it up already. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I feel like Karaka could run partic this particular side, no problem. But you know, you never know with the random the the, the RNG. Because sometimes you get just very tough tier one side for no reason whatsoever. And you lose your ship. L super carry, gotcha, gotcha. I understand. See, like, I, I really don't know anything about uh, capital ships. The only capital ship I've ever really flown is, is a freighter. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with freighters. Freighters are awesome. Yeah, this side was super easy. Hello, Super Carrier, and their knit is a little brother. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, Sensei. Perfect. I'm looking to do some of these, but rather inexperienced. Um, depending on your skills, you know what? The, it a lot really depends on your skills here. Like I um I use the Omen on my main character, no problem to run tier one. I believe it was exotic or firestorm no problem but then i tried doing the same thing in the um, in the alpha clone and couldn't finish couldn't finish the first room so it it really really depends they're shooting two launches yeah i know i know but this is the last room it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter i still have 10 minutes here it literally makes no difference now Second level force. High second level four search strat. Um, it doesn't matter how you enter these sites, whether it's high sec or low sec. Or oh, null, for that matter, it really makes no difference. You really want to do carry riding, so just doing a knit. Okay. Yeah, I think knit is the one that I, that I can actually fly. So if I do something, it'll be probably a nid. Two shield fit and I'll best rapid lights. Consider it, that could probably work. I'm gonna say yes. Okay, so no meter plasmas. I kind of was hoping to collect some meter plasmas to do some, uh, some random stuff at the end of the stream, but I'm sure we'll find more. In fact, let's um, let's bump this up to a tier two out of curiosity. Come on, using the web. Um, hey, hey Gr Grippio OZ. Welcome to my live stream. So I wasn't using the web this time because it didn't matter. I was too far away, like, like Corky is saying, but also didn't matter. The DPS was being applied regardless, so um, yeah, I wasn't in a hurry to leave. Hey, Bozo 1980. Yeah, this is that was the tier one dark. To Glevian sites and dark sites are the toughest ones there is. So if you want some challenge, uh, definitely go for the, for the dark sites. That was tier one. Let's uh, yeah, let's go ahead and bump it up to, to tier two. Rapid lights really do apply really well. Yes. Um, so the web would really be more useful, I think, in the higher tiers when you really need to slow down. Especially you know if you find. Uh, if you come across the Troglavian ship, then you definitely need to slow them down, because they're fast. They are super fast. When I first tried running all of these sites, I, I had the biggest problem whenever I encountered the Tro Troglavian ships. I would just die so fast. 
In fact, that's the Trickleton ship right there. No, it's not. Never mind. It's Con Concord Police. Never mind. <laughs> I just couldn't defeat Trickleton for some reason. But now I think I have got it, got it handled. How many different kinds of those sides are there? Oh, okay, so there's five five different tiers, and each of them has like five different flavors to it. We, we could say that. Let's take a look, in fact. We'll take a look at filaments. Um, so yeah, we got five, 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 five different tiers. So that's the calm, agitated, chaotic, fierce, raging, and then we have the dark, electrical, exotic, firestorm, and gamma. So yeah, you can definitely tailor these however you'd like, just for your curiosity. Let's go take a look. So the dark, uh, yeah, the, the dark sides. What happens here is that um, you have a somewhat actually remember and clouded by a field of dark matter that will reduce weapon ranges and but enhance ship velocity. So you really have to have a web in order to actually slow down your enemies. The electrical one will reduce your EM resistance but enhance ship capacity recharging. It's a good for armor ships, I suppose. Exotic one will reduce kinetic resistance, but enhance scan resolution. So very good to, to uh, hunt down those little pesky frigates and stuff. Firestorm is the will reduce thermal resist resistance, but enhance ship armor strength. So once again, very good for, for armor fit ships. And I guess the easiest one I could come up with, uh, Gamma would be, would be the one. It um, reduces the explosive resistance, but enhances ship shield strength. So if you're a shield fit, definitely go for the Gamma. Now, do I have, um... Okay, let's put the, these back into the item hold. Let me see, do I have any more filaments? A tier 2, do I have dark? I don't have the tier 2 dark. Let's, uh, let's buy one. What's the, what's the tier 2, the, the agitated one? Okay, tier 2 dark filaments. Man, they're so cheap now. I remember when they first came out, they were like in... 20 million at least <laughs> yeah let's try the agitated one to see how that works out hopefully i won't lose the ship right away i mean i have my heal as a backup that we can go back to like uh tier four size but it won't be the dark one with my current heal fit that i still have left from losing my last one to the dark sides the only one that i can fly now i think is like the gamma or the firestorm ones i can do those no problem Oh yeah, you know what? I should reload my, my missiles. Oh well. Alright. Classic, classic tune. This is Eve in a nutshell. This is peak Eve right here. Let's see how well the... Uh, Tier 2 works. No, no, no. Core keep going, going. We're gonna go to uh, Tier 2. Tier 1 was way too easy. I, I kind of want to find the challenge where it's like, it's challenging but not, you know, suicide. And that way I can tell people in like a video or something, you know, what? if you fly the Caracal Navy issue, you can run these sites. But, you know, don't go above these sites. Hey, Apex 262? <laughs> oh man, loaded question. I, uh... <laughs> Johnny Pew. I, I don't think anybody can pick up Johnny Pew's torch. That man's a legend. And I'm kind of saddened that he's not doing any more... Any more E videos or videos whatsoever. I mean, maybe he'll do more videos later on, but currently he's not doing much. too far now that's okay Johnny Pew you know what I, I am kind of sad that he took down all the videos from YouTube because there that, that was some really good content and good educational content that I personally relied on a lot of times I was like well you know what I want to fly the interceptor for exploration what should I do all oh, right Johnny Pew has has a video let's let take a look at that but now there's no videos anymore and I mean 
It's his choice, definitely his choice, and I respect that. And I hope Johnny is still kind of with us playing the game. When you're doing another No Man's Sky livestream, hey Juan, Juan, probably tomorrow, you know what, I'll, I'll be honest, probably tomorrow. I, uh, <laughs> I did like playing yesterday, um, I haven't played it off stream yet, I might play a little bit tonight off stream, maybe, maybe not, but prob probably, probably t uh, tomorrow, 8pm Eastern time for roughly one hour, I don't have much time to stream tomorrow. Only thing that's bad about the rapid lights is the higher tier view. <laughs> yes. Yes, reload sucks. It really does. No, it honestly really does. I mean, I, this this way I wish I'm, I kind of wish I had regular caracal right now so I could be able to load some drones. And drones will be able to apply some damage while I'm just, you know, waiting for the stuff to reload. Okay, they're applying too much pressure on me. Let me Pulse my micro drive for a little bit. I'm afraid of flying so bored out of my mind. <laughs> so to see him leave the community, hope the life is treating him well. I think so. You know what? He moved to a different city. Um, he found a good job. Uh, so I, I hope everything is fine. I'm sure everything is fine. And he just moving on with his life. In a way, I understand that. It's not the first time an Eve personality kind of like up and left. I mean, finally won Eve. But, you know, once again, I don't know, maybe Johnny still plays the game, we just don't know, maybe he's, he plays an, under an alt. A lot of us just can't quit the game. <laughs> Believe me. A lot of times I was like, you know what, maybe I'm done with this game, and then like, just something drags me right back in. It's for me. Hey, Marcel the Bind, welcome to my live stream. My goodness, either you re up really early or you up really late, but regardless, I appreciate you being with me. I saw him in Chile the other day, but don't know what he was doing. Hey, Corn Sky. Don't get to my live stream. Okay, good, good, good. So he's still in the game. That's important. How are we doing for time? I think we're okay for time. And why are we moving away from the the thing? Keep orbiting it. Okay, now we're going too fast. What is the tower thing? The tower thing. Hey, Aramis, uh, Rosicrest. So the tower, the short range. Oh, hold on. Let me get it closer. Short range multi-body tracking pylon. So what this does, when you're you are within about ten kilometers away from the tower, it will help you track everything small. So right now we don't need it. We don't really don't need it. I feel, you know, character. I'm not really taking advantage of, of any of the towers. I don't feel like I have to. I might, I might later on. I might, <clears throat> I might in the next room. But when I used to fly my, my heal in like tier four and tier threes, I would definitely take advantage of this to kill the enemy faster. So I am using the precision missiles right now. If I encounter the battleship, I will definitely have to switch to a better. Missile. I have the uh, the Fury ones loaded up as well. Are you going to be doing Mono Sky with the US? Oh, I would love to. You know what? Mono Sky is now um, a, a multiplayer game, so you're more than welcome to 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 uh, to, to team up. I have no idea how it works yet. I haven't tried multiplayer, but definitely welcome. I watched the game, I know right now it's on sale for half half, but I don't know the price. I bought it two years ago, honestly, when it came out, and uh, I don't know what it is at now. Okay, and exactly one missile left to get the biocache. I'm using Dominix for ratting and want to upgrade. What do you recommend? Oh, for, for, for the Dominix up? So you're writing in, uh, you're writing in Alsek, I'm assuming. Um, I'm not sure how Dominix will compare to like a Ishtar or a Gila. My preferred ship, I would say, is a Gila. Even though Vexor, Vexor Navy issue that I tried, I haven't tried Ishtar for writing yet. I probably should. Um, the Vexor Navy issue that I had was applying DPS better, but it 
the tank was not as good. I, I feel more comfortable riding in a heal even though it's lower DPS. Um, from a Dominix, you probably should move up to the, to the Rattlesnake. Now, now, the thing about riding in a healer or a Bexer, it's more of like, press F1 and off you go, and <laughs> let your drones do the damage. Um, handle everything else. For Rattlesnake, it's really active riding. Like, you're way more involved. You have to select your targets, you have to make sure you're uh, cruising at the right speed, right distance. Um, it's still doable, it's very, very much fun. But it's not like a passive thing to do. Um, yes, definitely recommend Rattlesnake before moving up to like a carrier, like a neat hugger. Hmm. Bad Mac. Alright, all hands on deck, switching to the Fury missiles, here we go. This is not a fucking drill. We're getting muted right away. These goddamn things. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, switched my my missiles. This this could be it. This could be it for me. I should have left the missiles. You know what? I am really regretting. I'm really regretting this right now. Let's slow this thing down. If I can, I probably can't anymore. Okay, I can, I can, I still can, I still can, okay. Settle, settle down, Bad Max, settle down. We can do it, we can do it. Crunch time, this is crunch time here. Uh, I'm surprised my web was running. Okay, now this thing's gonna try to run away from me. That's no bueno, no bueno whatsoever. I mean, my, my my tank is down. I can't really protect myself anymore. The bad mech is running away. Tactical mistake that probably cost me my ship here. Still applying some damage. Not bad. Not bad, but should be better. Should really be better. Come on, come on. Module out of charges. Okay, well, we can. We're gonna switch to... Oh, I can't. Okay, fine. Fine. We're gonna keep the, the Fury. God damn it. The Fury is gonna suck against the um, the Damovix. I would really prefer having precision against the Damovix. But I guess we'll just roll with the punches here. We'll do, we'll do what we can. We'll do what we can. When does Abyssal Mind start getting good? I have no idea, J Darb Games. I have no idea whatsoever. I hope now it's better. So the uh, the loot table has been redone for lower tiers. So I'm running tier 2 right now. Tier 1 seems to have like better loot than before, for sure. Okay, down. Okay. You're next. You're next, Biatch. So they're not applying too much damage on me. I can kind of tank them without even having my Invalm running here. Yeah. I was a little worried there, I'll be honest. I was like, oh, this is it. This is how it ends. This is how it all ends again. <laughs> because of the RNG, sometimes you'll find, you know, you do one tier. You're like, oh, this is a breeze. And you move up the tier, and then you get the hardest, toughest spawn ever, and you get owned. And you're like, what the hell? That was not like a step up. That, that was a leap up in, in, in difficulty. Hey, XMFA, thank you so much for, for the follow on my Twitch page. Really appreciate it. Okay, my... Uh, I can tag them, no problem. I have uh, 10 minutes left, more or less, to do this room in the next. I think I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Hey, Mr. Tolo18, welcome, welcome. Tony Hong, how's it going? Welcome to my live stream. Ishtar works, Rattlesnakes is active riding. Yep. Okay, I will mic it because I saw a game a few years back and it didn't seem it was going anywhere, but it seems good now. Right, I'm going to skip a lot of uh, a lot of chat here. The timer is red, correct. The timer is red. Timer is red. Okay, time to start uh, recharging our cap here. Good evening, Redler. How's it going? Look at my live stream. Just running some dark abyssal sites in my Navy issue Caracal. Cool. 
cool it is nice it was it was the other fear <laughs> yeah regarding no man's sky i um i'd never bought into the hype of the game because like i did not follow its development whatsoever so i had no idea what to expect from it so when, when, when it came out, I was like, oh, cool, let, let, let me check it out. And I enjoyed it. I, I thought it was very limited gameplay and all that. But it still played for like 60 hours or so. Maybe even more. Um, I enjoyed it. But now it's way better. It's way more in-depth, way more complex. Is passive tank pretty much required, you mean, for the um, for these sites? Yes and no. I was running I was running tier 3 sites in my heal in an active tank, because personally I prefer the active tank. Considering it's usually, usually when I have a healer, it is uh, cap, cap stable with my active tank. Um, so tier, tier 3s were no problem with, with my healer active. Tier 4s were hit or miss. You know, you encounter the gang of... Uh, <laughs> nuding Chaglavians and you're done. You literally you your your tank becomes paper thin th thin. You can't defend yourself like you, you you're done. So yeah, even though personally I'm not big of a fan of an of a passive tank when it comes to PVE in this case. But passive probably do you better. Proper proper passive fit with proper skills and yeah, I think you're set. All right, we got lots of drones here on grid, so we're gonna go and go ahead and uh, target all of these striking Villa Damoviks. We're not gonna worry about drones, so we know we're gonna get some. We're gonna get fucked up here for sure. Let's um, orbit this at like seventy-five hundred or ten, whatever. As long as they don't get muted, I'm fine. So the, the trick here is that don't go for the drones. They keep swarming. They keep spawning these drones. Don't worry about the Villa Swarmer, whatever. Get rid of all the Damavix. All the Damavix on grid, and you're good to go. So in this case, if there is... Oh, there is no, there is no pylon whatsoever. But if there was like a... Automata pylon here, you would want to go there, because it would get rid of these drones for you. Yeah, we're done with this side. You know what, this is good. This is good. T2, I think, works well. So far, the loot is worth it, worse than in T1, but it is what it is. It's, it's RNG. Cold Crot, how's it going? This is the Caracol Navy. I'm kind of cheating a little bit, just a little bit. So I traded in, I traded the ability to, uh, oh man, I really want to get to Precision. Precision works better here, but fine. Um, so I traded the ability to have a few drones. For the ability to have an extra extra launcher. But now that I think about it, I think regular Caracal can handle this as well, depending on your skills. Sometimes having drones would really help you out. Okay. Here we go. You stream on Twitch or no? Uh, I'm streaming on CCP's channel tonight. So, okay, hold on. Let, let, let me back up. Let me back up. So, my chat wasn't working at first. Now it, it is working, so let me just get it back up. Wednesday nights as usual. Mid midnight Eve time. I should say Thursday nights. Midnight Eve time is... Uh, I'm streaming on Twitch on CCP's channel. As well as on my own channel. Yay. Hello, okay, Bobo 4 does it does it do better than a healer um you mean this no <laughs> no way no way healer would breeze through this Healer would be done in the amount of time it took me to do this side he'll probably do like three of, of the same level but you know this is a dark side and this particular fit is meant more for for the dark abyssal side the healer fit that I have left is only meant for more like Gamma and Firestorm, maybe exotic sites. Because I had the healer fit for the dark side tier 3, and I think I lost it in a tier 3 instead of tier 4. Even though I ran it with a tier 4 successfully, I lost it in a tier 3 because I ran out of timer. 
I literally ran out of timer. Even though I could tank everything, just... You know what? Did not make it to, to the gate in time. I can show you the guys the fit. I really don't mind sharing the fit. Here is the fit. In all its glory. So I have the six rapid light missile launcher stack two, two large shield extender stack two, 150 MN cold gas enduring micro warp drive, and um, one adaptive invulnerability field, followed by one damage control tech two in low power, and three ballistic control systems. Okay, let's see what's in here. Better be good. It better be good. Okay, we got the Karm Dark, dark Filament. <laughs> Useless. Useless, okay. Maybe we'll just run the uh, the Karm Dark one right away. Just to get it out of the way. Because I feel like the loot was better in the tier 1 instead of tier 2 this time. This is, this is, this is kind of funny. Okay, let's, let's go jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. And finally, let's load the precision missiles. Also healing T3 Dark, because my drones couldn't hit anything, got muted. Yeah, you know what? That's happened to me too on stream, actually. You know what? I was like, yeah, let's do this. Should be easy, right? And yeah, I could not damage anything. I actually, I could tank everything, no problem, but I could not kill anything in the first room. And I was like, owned, wrecked completely. That was my regular heal of fit. So I played around with it, and I got actually a dark side heal of fit that works up to T4 fairly, fairly decently. But yeah, I was running this T3 that was a ridiculously difficult site because I think every every of the three rooms was Chogladians that were very tough to kill. It was also on stream, so there's like some documentation of that. And I ran out of time. Last room, I had like 10 seconds left, the last ship dies. I'm like, can I make it to the, uh, the cache? And I couldn't, and I couldn't actually warp out. And yeah, it was rather sad. Rather sad. But kind of fun too. Sad and fun. Alright, let's uh, use the Karm Dark Filaments. What's this invulnerable thing? Can I just go somewhere? There we go, activate. Hey, Zef Echo, how's it going? Welcome to my live stream. IVMI, welcome back, so good to see you. Only running comp sites and IFFA damage control works fine, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Um, go for more DPS, I would say, especially in the lower tiers, DPS is king. There's not much, there's not much tank that you need, just enough. Okay, what the hell we have here? What do we have here? Can I hit this guy? Or is he too fast? Alright, we we're hitting him. Okay, we're hitting him. Good, 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 good. That's how I lost my 1.3 billion healer because I forgot to grab more missiles and slowly die. Oh no, Sensei Freckle. That sucks. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. But I mean, Gila... Gila should really rely on drone damage. What's going on there, dude? I, I rarely use any launchers on my Gila. Like, I would use launchers on the... Um... I'm gonna have to reload here, aren't I? I will use launchers when I'm running the, the, the tier 4 side on my Gila because I need to get as much DPS as possible. But tier 3 side, I'd probably just l l let go and just use my, my, my two drones. Of course, of course we're out of charges, of course, why not? Well, they didn't have the speed. Oh, right, 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 of course, yeah. Yeah, so you were doing the dark side, right? Yeah, same thing happened to me. That didn't, didn't matter whether it was like missiles or anything. Um, just couldn't hit the stuff well enough. Oh, right, why am I using the micro drive? Sorry. My bad. So I have a lot of junk here, especially this thing. 
So all this the stuff I think is used for like crafting triglavian stuff. They're running those in high or low sec. So I am going from high sec, but it doesn't matter which sec you go from. It's all the same size. It really, really doesn't matter how you do this. Okay, let me reload the stuff. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? Tier 1 has better loot than Tier 2. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Can you do them in Warhol space? I am pretty sure yes. It doesn't matter which space you do them in. So the way it works is that everything up to Tier 3 doesn't matter. Tier 4 and 5, what happens is that once you actually go there, you get a suspect status. And anybody can w find can scan down your beacon. So when you're done with the Stroglavian site and you get back to, to the normal space, there's actually a beacon there and people will be waiting for you to destroy you. So when you're running tier 4 and 5, you really gotta be careful. You gotta find like more of a safe system to actually run them in. Even though I have been running these in, in a Mart trade hub. And so far, fingers crossed, have never been caught. Nobody ever bothered to actually catch me. Which is kind of hilarious. Let's get these guys. Second room seems rather easy. I'm not sure if I have to actually get the Villa Swarmer in this case. Probably not. But we'll find out. Use Omnidirectional and Vespas for Dark. They will chase and snipe. Nice. So Omnidirectional and Vespas. Vespas, eh? Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I've never tried Vespas in the dark side. You're onto something here. You're onto something. Duro, 777. What about tier 4? What about tier 4, Elric? By the way, welcome back to my live stream. I love the name. Elric Draugr. That's like so, so Skyrim. It's very Skyrim. There's only two left, might as well reload them right now. I also got filaments if you need them. I don't really use them, so not enough amounts of skills to throw cruisers at it. You can always sell them. You can always sell them, dude. Oh yeah, permabands. Is the AT this week weekend? No, no, no. Um, the AT is like two or three weekends from now, but every weekend stuff starts happening. So, like, I mean, if you mean the final, it's not this weekend, but it... Give me a second. I will actually, I can pull up the schedule for you. In fact, I think the AT hype stream was right before me. So the AT stuff... So Saturday and Sunday, starting roughly 1 p.m. Eve time up until 8 p.m. Eve time. That's the stream that's going to be happening here at twitch.tv slash ccp. July 28th, 29th, August 4th and 5th, 11th and 12th. And I think the final is on August 18th. So there is all the info for you. First rounds. There we go. First rounds. Corky has got the schedule for you too. Calm Gamma. Awesome. <laughs> Useless, but awesome. We're not doing too badly in terms of loot. Not too bad. Could be better. It <laughs> could be way better, of course. Oh yeah, I should probably reload this thing. Got how much time? Ooh, 13 minutes. We're breezing through this side in particular. A 
Calm filaments, they shouldn't be worth that much. 40, 50 mil is a little bit too steep. In fact, I just bought the calm dark one for like 200,000. Oop. I need new missiles here. But screw it, let's, let's try it. You know what, let's try it. Let's try it with the precision missiles. There we go, we caught him. Slowed him down, he's hurting bad already. You know what, I don't see that big of a difference between the Precision and Fury, to be honest. I think Fury will be a little bit better, but you know, in a pinch it'll do. Where do you go to run the abyssal sites? Anywhere. So warp out from your station to like a safe spot or an asteroid belt or a planet or whatever, and activate the filament. I'll show you how, you, how I do it in the, in the next one. Hey, Master Gaming 119, welcome back to my live stream. We need to add bounties to the rats. You mean like these rats? <laughs> that wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. I wouldn't mind that. Is Asigen only from Dark Sides? Hey. Bad ABT Toad? I have no idea what you're talking about. Asigen comes from mining. Oh shit, am I out of missiles? Alright, we only got Fury left. Fine. I can deal with that. Good thing I can tank stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Fibs. Yeah, I just realized, like, what the hell? How did that happen? I have done, uh, like, 30 T3, T4 exotic and have, have gotten zero isogen. Why would you want isogen? I don't understand. Isogen you just get from, like, you buy it in the market. It's cheap. Super cheap. Uh, no, no problem, dude. No problem, Lick 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 Rusher. This is why I'm here. This is why I'm here to show you the game. It's okay being a noob. Everybody started off being a noob first, right? I think they wanted the survey as a bounty system for a reason. Maybe. When I first checked, they weren't worth more than one mil, but people are selling them for five plus mil in the Citadel. Hey! People are selling them. It means people are buying them. So go ahead, try. But at the uh, the MR trade hub, they are rather cheap. You have any videos about living in wormholes? Because I wanted to try it. So I uh, I don't have many videos about wormholes except like the basics of wormholes. Like what each uh, wormhole actually mean in terms of color and um, what kind of nebula is in each type of wormhole and stuff like that. I have some ninja wormhole stuff, like taking day trips to to the wormhole, but never actually living in the wormhole because I've started making videos about Eve way after I actually lived in the wormhole for a little bit, and I haven't really done it since. The biggest thing about wormhole living is that you have to find a good corporation that knows what they're doing. It doesn't have to be big, just active. There's a few, few, few guys that are active in the corporation and then, you know what, some experience will of course greatly be appreciated when you're joining a wormhole corporation. And then you're good to go. That's all you need. I don't know any wormhole corporations off of my head, like on top of my head, to actually recommend, unfortunately. I'm working on it. I usually have corp recommendations for for the new bros at the ready, but not for the Warhol Corp. Somewhat happy! Welcome back to my live stream. I'm sorry, I didn't see you. What happened? How did I how did I not see you? You're in Montreal. Awesome, Montreal. I love that city. I haven't been there in maybe four? Shit, four or five years, maybe even more, but loved it. Every time I went there, I loved it. Sadly, the last few times I went Montreal, it was it was always like in April, and it's bitter cold. It's so bitter cold there in April. 
The great thing about visiting Montreal uh, at that time was that the Habs were in the playoffs. So every bar, pub, restaurant I went to, it was like crazy atmosphere. It was so fun to watch all the games. Uh, old town Montreal, beautiful, really beautiful. See, my money, money ledger organized by price. The thing that I mind that's worth the most, some random more that's only available to <laughs> one money mission. <laughs> Was a fan of, fan of the people? You mean you, you didn't like the Quebec Hawaii people? <laughs> I, I you know, didn't have a problem with the people, honestly. Montreal is very Anglophone. Like some parts in Quebec, you go to the middle of nowhere. They're like, if you don't speak English, holy shit, you, you better run out of town. <laughs> but Montreal is usually very, very chill, very relaxed. Yeah, Elo now lives in Montreal, right? Can call it please a Canadian accent, it's special. It's a very special Canadian accent. Okay, let me uh, drop whatever the crap I have in here and let's get some more calm. Not calm, sorry. We're gonna get the... Um, let's go for the agitated once again. We just need more, more, more weapons here. Let me take a quick break, guys. I'll be right back. All right, we are back. What is going on? Also, this is the person that was talking about the estrogen you get it from micronite and stuff like like that to go in the Mar 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 0.5 system and you find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, buy estrogen on the market. Come on, what, what are you doing? 
be kind to yourself. Don't don't buy the stuff. I mean, don't don't try to find the stuff. Unless you're mining, then you can easily find it. Okay, so let's go and get the uh, agitated dark. That's the tier two. I don't dare to go to tier three because I think tier two is like uh, could be um, tough enough. Okay, next let's get more precision stuff. Why roughly? I I don't know. Like what? One thousand? We used to have about one thousand on this thing. And by like nine hundred of this stuff. You know, the trick is trying trying to find all all this all this shit in here. The filaments, you can find that easily. Agitated dark. There we go. Then we got the Mjolnir. There we go. Mjolnir precision. I mean fury Mjolnir precision. There we go. We're good to go. For one more go at it for the uh, tier two side. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. So somebody asked about the newbie corpse as well in chat right before I left. So I have lots of recommendations. Okay, let's switch to the to the precision. Uh, usually I recommend five or six corporations slash alliances. So I will start with my own alliance, Sixth Empire. We're not really a, a newbie friendly corporation as the others one, other ones will be. But we offer like a temporary home for all the pilots, doesn't matter, a mega alpha, whatever you want. You can join us. We will find you a good home. We are non non non-committal, so you can always leave us, no problems whatsoever. We will help you find a good corporation to fly in. If you want, you can apply to the Gold Angels. That's the uh, the main corporation within Sixth Empire. And we'll 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 sort you out. Then, if you like exploration, I always recommend the Signal Cartel. That's the, the premier exploration corporation in EVE Online. I don't know of any other corporation that's actually better at it. Led by legendary EVE Scout. Um, if you like small gang PvP, look no further than Red vs. Blue. So it's, I think it's Red Federation and the Blue Republic. Those are two different corporations that are locked into a war with each other. Great fun. I flew with them for a couple of years, actually, with my alt. And only the best of things. Like, oh, I had so much fun flying with them. Then, of course, you have your Brave Newbies, which is a Nelsa corporation that kind of started it all. They were the original new bro friendly alliance slash corporation out there. They're still in the game. They're still active and kicking. They're smaller than they used to be, but uh, lots of good things about Brave Newbies. And of course, we have the Karma Fleet and Pandemic Horde. Karma Fleet is the offshoot of the Goon Swarm, and Pandemic Horde is the offshoot of the Pandemic Legion. Once again, new bro, new bro friendly Nelson corporations that will teach you everything and anything about EVE Online, and they are backed up by very big Nelson alliances. Hey, Gasbel Life, level 5 side. I did it once, I really did it once. Uh, this this fit will not survive a level 3, let alone level 5. Actually, it might survive a le level 3. What, what are we talking about? We might be okay with a level 3 here. Oh, I'm being new to here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, boys and girls. Let's get to the multi-body tracking pylon. Slowly but surely. The nuding party is welcoming me here. I will soon run round of cap, won't be able to field any sort of uh, tank, my invuln will be off, I won't be able to use my web webifier whatsoever, and there we go, it's it's off, <laughs> it's really off. Capacitor is empty, but we still have our missiles to fire, we're gonna be okay, we're gonna be okay, we can, we can survive this. First room, tier 2, dark abyssal side. I think I have to say hi. I think this is a PH member that joined PH is pretty awesome. Yeah, PH. PH is awesome. Okay, so my shield is running lower. So let's get them into medium range so we can track them better. Of course, that means they'll be able to track me better, but that's okay. Hopefully, we'll be okay with that. Got like 3 million in loot from level 5. Nice. That's it though. 3 million in loot. 
that's that's a bizzle. I <laughs> see what I'm saying here. That's, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Three million loot from a level five. I got more from a from a tier one just past sight. I got four million from from a tier one. <laughs> okay, here we go. We are approaching halfway mark of my shield capacity here. So because we are within the range of this medium range multi-body tracking pylon, I am able to track these lancers a lot easier. Excuse me, and destroy them faster. Of course, same applies to me. I am not sure if I can finish one in four volleys, but it's possible. There we go, could not do it in five volleys, but that's okay. Like I said, I've done the tier 1 sites and tier 2 sites in the Omen. Especially the Firestorm, I believe. Which is quite doable, depending on your skills. It wasn't easy. But still doable. Okay, let's slow it down. Oh, I can't. It's out of range now. It's fine, though. We can slow this dude down. Oh, now he's trying to pull range, of course. They know. They really know. Oh, nice. I've been so caught up with this war. Haven't seen one of these sites yet. Hey, Ron USMC. Welcome to my live stream. So I am doing the toughest site, toughest flavor of site there is. I shouldn't say toughest site. These are the dark sites. And in which the ship velocity is increased, so it's very difficult to track them down. You have to have a web fitted to your ship in order to be able to um, properly apply some damage. But I am only doing a tier 2 in the Navy Caracal. As far as visuals go, I mean, they're great, especially for the dark sides. I... Um, I really enjoy them. They're very unique to EVE Online, but the Dark Sides don't have that much of visuals compared to other other ones. Especially Firestorm usually looks pretty awesome. Gamma can have very beautiful visuals as well. Hey, take a look at that Gasbo. Nine, almost ten million in the, in, the, in the tier two side now. But yeah, you you really got hosed in that tier five. <laughs> You get suspect status when you come out? No, no, no. Not of this one. Tier 4 and 5. And everything up to 3 is fine. No, no, nobody knows where you're at. Tier 4, you there's a beacon that people can scan down and warp to and ambush you when you warp out. Isn't the Mar Yeah, you know what? Amar Trade Hub, I like it, but some stuff is way overpriced and stuff is just plain missing. Are these new sites where you get modules? Oh, sorry guys. I'm trying to defrost my freezer. That's what it was. Kind of scared the crap out of me, to be honest. <laughs> Eyes fell down. Right in the bucket. Ah, okay, let me let me engage my shit. Um, where are we going, by the way? Mid-range automata suppressor. Yes, let's suppress all these pesky goddamn swarmers. So what's the question? Are these these new sites where you get modules, you get the materials that modules? Yes, yes, yes. So these are the sites where you get the, the mutaplasmids, where you can... Uh, apply it to various equipment to see what kind of stuff you get out out of it sometimes you win sometimes you lose i think mostly you lose to, to be honest but i've never actually used metaplasmids on um singularity i mean tranquility tranquility tq yeah yeah the current server the, the live server i've only ever used those things on the um on the test server Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my live stream. Very good to see you. <laughs> Sorry, but missile did not use tracking and supplication formula unless the, the tower in the uh, besides influence explosion velocity and explosion radius. You know what? You're right. You're right. Probably, probably does nothing. 
probably does nothing. It's just my habit from flying the helis usually. I don't usually fly the missile boats in these sites. Children Cloud, minus one minute shield boost shield radius. 40% boost to shield boost duration. Okay, that. Uh, I don't have a shield booster, so it doesn't really matter. Odd and next supply for Freak was 2000% up. I'm too lazy to go cheat for 4.5 million. <laughs> Yeah, the end of my stream, I might do one side in a healer that I have ready here, like a T4. Probably a Gamma T4. Just for fun. Just for fun, to compare the loot table. But I don't think the loot table has been upgraded for the, the higher levels, the higher tiers, only for the, um, the lower tiers. Which you can see, I mean, 9 million in the, in, in the last drop, that wasn't bad. I would never see it, like... Two weeks ago. Before the update. Oh, come on. Good, good, good. I, I, I was I was thinking maybe that, that last dynamic won't die. At least at least these, these dynamics aren't uh muting me yet. Come on, recharge faster. They're not applying too much damage either, which is good. I mean, they only yellow box me for some reason. And applying very minimal stuff. I guess because they actually just deployed drones. Maybe that's why. But Damavix are fast. Even in regular Turglidian sites, Damavix are very tough to catch. So, like, Web Webifier is recommended. But it's a must in the dark side. All right, next, line them up. Okay, so I mean, I could attempt, I could attempt a T three dark, but I honestly think this this ship won't last in it. Might have to do it. Might have to try it on the test server just to be sure. I mean. T2 was okay be because I could tank them. But I don't think I can t tank stuff in the uh, in the T3, especially considering my 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 uh, missiles run out so fast. Does the scanner have a new sound? Does it? I have no idea. I don't usually have the scanner sounds turned on. Ship ship just a test on live server. Um I mean, this is not a really chip. Well, you could consider it a chip ship. I spent maybe 200 million on this. So, like, depending on where you are in making ISK and EVE, it could be ch cheap or it could be very expensive. For me, it's like a medium tier. I don't usually go around spending 200 million on a ship. I was playing a funky sound while I, while I had it up. Maybe, maybe. You mean like a D scan or actual um, actual scanner? <laughs> For me, it's so expensive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing included, though. So it's like, it's not that bad. But when it comes to income from these sites, it's definitely expensive. <laughs> when you compare the income that that you get. Actual probe scan. I have no idea. Really, I, I, I envy I have no idea. I was successful with the Vexor and an Arbitrator in T3s, but eventually died. Then again, both ships and fits have died in T1 sites too. <laughs> you never know with RNG. That's what I keep telling people. Okay, so I get lots of drops for like T1 bullshit, but... Oh well. The heal, heal I tested the level 5 site with was 6 billion including implants. Whew. No, my healer for T5 was less than that. I think it was like 1.3, 1.4 billion. 
I feel like I might have lost it. I don't remember if I lost it or not. I may have repurposed it and lost it because I didn't lose it to a T5 side. Maybe I lost it to a T4 or something. Maybe maybe that's the healer that I used to uh, redo my fit and do it for the uh, the dark sides, and then then I lost it. All right, let's get all of these crazy drones. Oh, Damovic. Let's get the Damovic first. Damovic's first. Short range. What do we have here? What is this? What are we looking at here? Multi-bite is tracking. Okay. We can, we, we can ignore this. Thanks to Schnoodles for letting me know that I was an idiot to try to, try to use this to my advantage. You can only take cruisers? Oh, yeah, correct. So the current iteration of the Abyssal Sites, you can only take cruisers. That's it. <clears throat> Nothing else. What about hacks? No, 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 no. I think only... Uh... Actually, hacks? Shoot. You might be able to take hacks in. I don't know. Good question. Yeah, hacks can be used. Thank you, Blacklister. At first I was gonna say no, you can't use hacks, but I'm like, no, no, you can. I think you can. I think any cruiser-sized vessel is good to go. <laughs> I know, Schnudels. I know. I accept my fate in this game. I used to be good at it, and then I got complacent, and now I suck. But I still love it. Still love it. Okay, let's get the Dominic instead. You know, I was trying these Triglavian ships on the test server before the update went live. And they didn't do too well in my hands in these sites. I might have to re re revisit it though and try again just those di disintegrators the thing about them is that they take the more you hit a target the the more powerful they get and i was really having problems with hitting the battleships they didn't have enough dps but i think i have to take like a, a closer look like a s second look at everything that i've done maybe come up with a better fit for um, a red mac Ron, you can take the Cerberus. In fact, I did. I, I took the Cerberus. I think I lost it to, um, to a T3. But that was when I was just starting out with all these sites, and I really was terrible at them. I had no idea what to do where and like what each site really meant. I think Cerberus for the Gamma site, T3, will work well. For missiles, the SAC is better hack. SAC, I think SAC is actually one of the best ships to run these sites. I know I, I say a lot of praises, I sing a lot of praises for, for Gila, but SAC actually I think will, will do really well here. I have never tried it my, myself, but I've seen some videos about it. And I might try it myself very soon. Hey, Michelle Samel, look at them on live stream. How's it going? Very good to see you. Come on, reload. Yeah. <laughs> Rapid light missile launchers, that's their biggest Achilles heel. Like how much time they take to actually reload the weapons. The ammo, I should say. Hey, Spitator, we got them on live stream. Yeah, the SAC is cap stable and dual rep with prop mod. I know, right? That's why I kind of want to save enough ISK to actually get a very blingy sacrilege fit and just go at it. Heal all the way. Yeah, Heal is, Heal is probably the most versatile cruiser out there for PvE. Like, really. 
any PvE I can think of, I'm like, Healer can do it better. <laughs> or like, yeah, you know, I have a Healer, I, I can do this, no problem. Exploration, yeah, Healer can do it. Combat Exploration, yeah, Healer can do it. Wormhole Exploration, boom, Healer can do it. Any event sites, Healer can rock it. Any, any Trogladian site, Healer can do it. Up to T5, I've done the T5 in a Healer, no problem. Gnostic Riding, Healer. I'm pretty sure that the nerf bat will be coming soon. There's no way CCP will allow Healer to reign supreme for so long. It's been a while. It's been like four or five years now that Healer has been like absolutely amazing. Flying and bomber side of you. <laughs> Black Lister. We have a Sixth Empire prayer just for you. <laughs> Good luck and gut speed. I'm not really going to bother right now, I still want to jump fader properly fit. I can fly jump fader, never used it though. In fact, the first time I used the, the jump to tech was like last week. I, I bought I bought a Force Auxiliary capital ship, the, the Apostle in Delve. And um, I had to get it to the Keep Star, the, the Vatican Pope Star in Basgarin for Sixth Empire like ceremonies and stuff. And this is the first time I actually used the Sino Alt to actually get my, my capital ship out of Null. It took a while, oh my goodness, that was such a pain to do, but this is the first time I used the, um, the Sino in jumps and all that. It's a pain, it's really a pain. It's like a tape that fixes everything. <laughs> I like that IMVI. Hila is the duct tape of EVE Online. Reload 2018, there you go, quotable quote right there. Put it on Twitter. <laughs> Mention me. Based on the EU presentation for the Abyss sites, I was really hoping that these sites would be different. They said it would be difficult for drones and missiles, but no, Healer Supreme. Yeah, Supreme. Healer Supreme. It... In their defense, to be honest, it is difficult for drones. That's why I'm saying the Sacrilege is probably the best ship out there to do this on. <sighs> Heal is just like OP when it comes to drones. It really is, because it's only uses like two drones, two two medium drones, and it amplifies their DPS so much. It's crazy. Holy shit, look at those Balgorns. Balgorns. With a negative standing to me, just like docking and shit. They even have a link to one of those good sag builds. Um, Adix Ice. Shoot. I had one. Hold on. Maybe, maybe I saved it somewhere. It's possible that I saved it somewhere. Let me take a look. There we go. I think this is the one that I want to try to use, but it's like 6 billion isk, and I can't afford that shit right now. Um, <laughs> that's way out of my price range. Let's, let's take a look at it. So what do we have here? We have completely blinged out... Excuse me. Sacrilege. So we got the um, Dark Blood Medium Nosferatu. I don't know if that really matters. I'm not, not sure if that, that's really useful. Um, we have the Heavy Assault Missile Launcher 2, one Gistomay type Afterburner, one Tucker Large Cap Battery, one two Federation Navy Stasis Wave Fires, two Corporum A type Medium Armor Repairs, one Corporum B type Energ Energized Adaptive Nano Membrane, two Dreaded Grizzly Ballistic Control Systems. Okay, interesting loadout actually. Um, medium Warhead Flare Catalyst Tech 2, Medium Bay Loading Accelerator Tech 2. Shed ton of different missiles. Five Valkyries, five Hammerheads, uh, Zainu Deadeye Guided Missile Precision. Can't even fit such some of the shit, like the, the Sclepium Omega. Can't do that shit. I guess any one of these will do, actually. Um, standard Exile Booster, Standard Crash Booster. I, I rarely take boosters or drugs, so I'm not sure what any of this actually means. But probably good to fit the, uh, the implants to actually fly this even better. So this should be able to handle the uh, the tier five. 
But then again, the heal that I had that I had would, was able to handle tier 5 okay-ish. Simulate? Sure, I can, I can simulate that. Of course, that's going to be based on my skills. So it is cap stable when everything's running. Look at that. Look at that. Dual web. Dual armor repair. Everything's running at the same time, including the afterburner. We've got navigation at 697.8 meters per second. Um, so let's take a look at the GPS. Let's just load up. Um, what should we load up? Let's go Inferno Rage. Heavy missiles. Why not? Why not? Just out of curiosity. So now we've got 667.3 DPS total. Not bad with the, with the five Valkyries in tow. Eventually, but look at that price tag, 6 billion isk. <laughs> That's crazy. Is the carry column using alpha friendly? I, I think it is. Let me double check. Hold on. Exit, exit simulation. Yep, yep, yep. So, everything I have in here, it is the Navy Caracal. I'm pretty sure Alpha Clones can fly the Navy Caracal. And um, the only thing... Actually, yeah, I think the uh, Alphas can use the Tech 2 missile launchers. Unless I am completely wrong about that. So, I would say it's, 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 it's Alpha Clone friendly. It just will take you a long time to train up for it. That's all. Still fine and dandy until you have to get on top of the drifted BS and he gets optimal transversal. <laughs> yeah, th that's it. I got it. I don't, don't remember where I got it. I got it from somewhere and I don't know where. In any case, I, I know it was it was for the truck living size because I've never flown the sacrilege before. And definitely you can optimize it for something better. Um, so, okay, we're done with the caracal, I think. What do we have here? 18 million. Not too bad of a haul, actually. What we could do, you know, maybe, maybe I could try to go back to my healer just for the fun of it. So that's, that's the healer that I used to fly for the Troglavian site. What do we have here? Public fleet last year. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for a um, for a T4 gamma. Do I have a T4 gamma? Let's do that. I know my title says Caracal, calm, dark, and shit, but the series almost over, so why not try something interesting? Okay, so I got arranging everything except for the for the gamma. I definitely need the gamma. I don't want. I'm not ready to go anywhere else. <laughs> so raging gamma. That's tier four. I hope. Tier 4, yep, yep, yep. Let's buy one. And let's compare the loot. Got some Caldera, Caldera Navy missiles. Caldera Navy Norway, what do we have for the uh, the stuff? I got 3 Valkyries. Three Valkyries. I don't know. Like, why do I have 3 Valkyries? I'm not, I don't even know. Let me take a quick break and I'll be right back. A very quick break.
All right, let's get back into it. Let's run one or two of these sites. See where we get. Hey, weapons great incompetence. Love the name. <laughs> Love it. I actually find that higher tier loot is worse on average, except you have a much greater chance to get big stuff like ship blueprints. Hey, Acoustics Production. Welcome to my live stream. I have not gotten a single blueprint yet, I don't think, like a ship blueprint. Let's go, go, go. I haven't run a tier 4 in a while, so let's see if I lose this healer in the heat of the battle. Got the cruiser BP from first level to... Wow. Gasbo. You know what? You you deserve that 3 million level 5 after the fact that you got a level B, cruiser BP from the first level to your end. <laughs> Bob. You know, Bob, Bob, is, Bob, Bob is fair. Bob is just. And Bob even lives in Trilavian space. <laughs> Activates. Jump, jump, jump. Carry level 1 to 3 key in cargo. I know about that trick. I know about it. I think they nerfed it though. I'm pretty sure they nerfed it. All right, here we go. Here we go again. Target everything you see. Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth policy here. What do we have here? What do we have here? Medium Automata? Ah, oh, goddamn Medium Automata. I hate those when I'm flying the... Uh... Take a look, 42 kilometers range, so I've got 37 right here. Punch it. Valkyries away, I love my Valkyries. I really, really... Still works for you a week ago, oh nice. Shit, I, I read something that they were like, we know about this and we're fixing it. I guess they didn't fix it. Well, I hope that nobody's uh, nobody's on me, you know? Really hope that. Yeah, I know I'm webbed. I know I'm webbed. That's okay. That's okay. Ooh, hold on. How are you doing there, Valkyrie? Your shield looks mighty fucked up. Oh, okay. Recalling. You're being recalled right now. Now you're an armor. No bueno. I have a spare though. I have a spare. Okay, let's get you messed up now. The Tesla is done. Who's next? These guys, cool. Man, oh man. Let's get away from this uh Automata. It's really messing up my drones here. It's cheap snipes. You guys, you know, you know I'm okay with stream sniping, as long as it's more or less fair, fair fight. Excuse me, by the way. Excuse me. One, two, and uh, away you go. Perfect. Up next, we're gonna mess this thing up. Blast script Tessera. Just made the list. How can I post links? Um, you should be able to post in YouTube. You should be able to. I'm not sure if my bot will allow it or not, but try. Zeev, this is Zeev. No one does a fair fight. God damn it, Gasbo, you're right again. Curse you, Gasbo. <laughs> Sorry, I love you. 
I love you guys, bro. <laughs> you're, you're completely right. Eve is what puts cons what puts sensual in non-consensual. That's that's what Eve is to me. Once again, <laughs> reload 2018. Quote that on Twitter. Mention me. Hashtag tweet fleet. <laughs> Okay, let's let's stop with this stupid idea of um, using the microbe drive for no reason whatsoever. Doesn't let you. Oh, I'm sorry, Ivy. Um, shoot. What can I do? At this point, I can't do anything. Try spacing it out in, in, instead of posting like dots. Put a space or something like that. Defender is a viable weapon now. Ron, I've never used defenders in my whole life. So I don't know. I really don't know. Oh shoot, no no no. Deploy, 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 deploy. Good. Good, good, good. See Discord. Thank you. You're you're my Discord, right? Hold on. Are you my Discord? You're my Discord. You're my Discord. <laughs> Thank you, dude. <laughs> oh, love it. Love it. I'm gonna check Twitter after this. This is hilarious. Okay, so I got the uh, the tier three dark filament, and uh, like about six million worth of loot here from a tier four. Which is still below a tier two. <laughs> Man, you brightened my day. Thank you. <laughs> I'm serious. I really want to try the game, but what am I doing wrong to get into the game? I tried exploration, but didn't make any friends. Didn't make any friends, Zaikai Z. My goodness, what's what's Eve coming to? Um. Do you like exploration? Do you actually, honestly, really like exploration? Because if you do, I'm gonna recommend you the Great Corporation. It's the premier corporation. I'm not part of it. They don't pay me shit. Honestly, I am recommend them because I know they're great. The corporation is called Signal Cartel. And you can apply to them, say, Reload Sensu or something like that. They should know me. They should know about me, at the very least. They are the best exploration corporation out there, and they are great, great people. You're gonna make great friends out there. <laughs> oh, Starburst slash IMVI, you're the best. You're really the best. And how the fuck am I gonna handle this thing? Lucid Watchman, let's get this Watchman first. This. I don't trust. I don't trust battleships and shit on grid here. There's so much stuff on grid right now. It's a little crazy. I'm afraid of exploration by being blown up. Hey, that's how you make friends, Sensei. In Eve, killing just a means of communication. In fact, can I play this song for you guys? Can I just shut the fuck up for like three minutes and play this awesome song for you? Will you let me? I know I like talking to you. But I think Zaikai is new to Eve, and we should educate Zaikai into what Eve is all about. And CCP has this awesome, awesome in-house band called Permaband. The main great songs. This is one of them. And I'm gonna shut up now. Mic off, by the way. Just a flash A lot of you shooting me A lot of me shooting you And Concord kicking everybody's ass
Kill me. Shoot you in the face. I'm sure you. The trip than the destination. Hey girl, come fly with us. That's an invitation. Don't be afraid of a little death and exploitation. Killing. It's just a means of communication. <laughs> Oh man, what a beautiful song. What a beautiful song, everybody. I can't speak over it. Whenever it comes on, I can't speak over it. And Sensei, I can't believe you didn't know that CCP had a permanent band. Only the best band on earth. I have so many more of their songs. <laughs> You're in for a treat when you finally uh, just Google, Google, Google them. Go to their YouTube page. So many awesome songs about Eve. <laughs> hey Cliff Kletchner, how's it going? <laughs> Just having fun as usual. Just having fun. I was barely paying attention to this thing. I'm like, I'm glad the spawns are kind of easy here. Otherwise it'd be dead. And I wouldn't care. <laughs> Perma band. Best band out there. I have a have a funny story. I think I've told this um on live stream before. A funny story about Permanent Band and this year's FanFest. 
Um, so this year's fan fest, I've had these shades that were like um, light up shades that would dance to the beat, kind of like Kanye shades and like those um, like lines across the eyes, but they would be LEDs. And you know how the, how the beat goes, they would like bump up and down and stuff. And I was front row. I was right there at the stage when Pemmin Band was performing. And uh, had a blast. So afterwards, CCP Guard, which who is the front man of um, Pemmin Band right now, he came up to me and said, because they used a lot of fog actually during that uh, performance, he's like, you were like a lighthouse, like a beacon in the sea of fog. So I knew where not to step, because otherwise I might have fallen off the stage. Because he's like also wearing the shades and like the lights are shining in their face and there's lots of fog around. So yeah, <laughs> he said if it wasn't for me, he might have fallen down off the stage. And I feel proud that I helped out. The permanent band. Hey, who knows 76 how's it going? Hey CCP, got question, would the Ferox be suitable if so what non a manga? What do you mean Ferox be suitable? For this site, no, Ferox cannot run these sites. Ferox is a battle cruiser. Correct me if I'm wrong, because sometimes I forget the names of the ships. Especially when I'm streaming for more than two hours, I'm like completely spaced out by by now. Uh, but yeah, I think Ferox is a battle cruiser, so no, you can only use cruisers. Tech 2 cruisers are fine. The uh, st st strategic cruisers are not fine, so any tech 1 and tech 2 cruisers will work. <laughs> Ferrex confirmed BC, BC. <laughs> Thank you, Blacklister. I'm still of sound mind. Good to know. Good to know. And look at that. T4 side is done. You're right. Just to wonder. Hey, you know what? It's, it's good to wonder. It's good to ask questions. There's no such thing as stupid questions, just stupid people, right? <laughs> yeah, why didn't you, did you guys say that the music was too low at first? Thank you for letting me know, by the way. Because I have no idea what you guys hear. I, I have to... Before that, people told me, like, your music is too loud. Turn down your goddamn loud music! Uh, so I had to uh, turn it down a little bit, so... I don't hear what you hear. Oh, we got the chaotic... Electrical. Pretty cool. And I got the uh, the Tetrion Exotic blueprint. Pretty awesome. I mean, all, all in all, it's like 46 million. That's not bad. That blows T2 side out of the water, to be honest. You're wrong. I've had my share of stupid questions. <laughs> Sensi Freckle. I have a three-year-old alpha clone in my household right now. Believe me. Believe me. I've also had my share of stupid and interesting questions. Now it's T5, Dr. Gonzo. You want me to go for it? God damn, you guys. You guys have bad influence on me. Should I? I? I don't want to lose this healer, to, to be honest. I really don't want to lose it, but at the same time, I am kind of curious whether it will handle a T5. I think it, this this fit might handle a T5. Alright, everybody's saying T5. Orc original giveaway, Kevin Jones. You know I can't afford that. You know I'm a scrub and Eve. If you want, if you want to go for giveaways, you got to go for some like big streamer, like Zavrox or Bjorn or s some stuff like that. You all know me. You all know I'm a scrub. <laughs> you all know that I have to question myself whether Ferox is a battle cruiser or not. All I'm good for is putting my shades on and lip syncing to Perman Band. That, that's all I'm good for in this game. <laughs> you got the provider, we're part of the consumers. Provide the content, goddamning blacklister. Ah, you got me. You got me. Fuck it, T5. T5 coming right up. T5 coming right up, dude. But I get to pick which T5. That's the, those are the rules. I get to pick how I die. <laughs> you can't tell me how to die. Okay, let's put that into um, item hanger. So what if CCP let us buy a day of a mega with Plex? Shrink, 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 shrink. Welcome to my live stream. 
want a day of a mango with Plex. Okay, so you're thinking of like micro Plex and stuff like that, right? When when the new Plex was coming out, people didn't know what's going to happen. Are they going to let us extend Omega by like a day or so? Uh, what am I doing? Filament, filament. Do I have any T5 Gamma? No, I don't have a T5 Gamma. Okay, I gotta buy a T5 Gamma. But that's fine. Ra no, Raging? Is it Raging? No, it's the Chaotic. Holy shit, we're going all the way up to Chaotic. You're all a bad influence on me. I'm gonna lose this healer. But at least there will be explosions, right? Ah, <sighs> for the views. For the views. I'll see you all in Valhalla, shiny and chrome. <laughs> to be honest, it's not my, my healer for once, so I'm cool with it. <laughs> all of y'all. Y'all make me laugh. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Okay, hold on. Bucket permission. I'm gonna go with the, what Gasbo told me. I'm gonna put something in my cargo hold just to escape potential... Potential people that would that love to piss in the parade and say it's raining, you know? Filament. I'm sure I can survive a Calm Gamma after this, right? If I survive the Chaotic, that is. You don't need it this time. <laughs> I hope you survive, thank you. <laughs> I think I did, you know, for... Jokes aside, for T5... It's difficult to predict because of the RNG. I know I've done it with this fit before on stream, and it worked. It depends what's going to meet me at the other side. If it's a if it's a muting party in every room, then I am F U C K E D. If it's just like one room, I think I can handle it. Let's try it. Make it a new safe. Ah. Ah, whatever. Whatever, Blacklister. Let, let's see. Let, let's go with the punches. Let's just blow with the punches. Whatever it is, it's content. And like you said, I am a content provider. You guys are content consumers. Let's do it. Ah, <sighs> T5, here we go. <laughs> yep press f for healer right but not yet not yet hold your f's hold your f's we're not there yet why do you think half of these nerds are wanting you to do another high high tier filament they need more time to scan you down probably probably <laughs> what the fuck look look at all this bullshit here short range out of mod probably right oh man stuff's happening already valkyrie's away valkyrie's away Deploy, deploy, deploy. And Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth policy here. Who the fuck is with me? You, you just made a list. Damovix! God damn it, we got Damovix in the first room. F me. That's fine, that's fine. We can escape these, these Damovix. I ain't scared. Okay, we got the multi tracking. And we got the Divina Damata. Okay, we're good, we're good. We, we can handle this. Damnix are primary. Let's go for the Damnix. Hey, I'm sorry. You guys were right. You guys were right. Why did I just change my uh, my thing here? Well, Damnix primary. Missiles away. We are tanking okay. I'm at uh, roughly one th two thirds of my shield. I'm comfortable with that assessment as of right now. Uh, my invuln is working overtime at this point in time. I suppose I could punch my overdrive, my micro overdrive, but I don't have to. If I don't have to. I will not do it. One more diamond on scan. We got Vedmec here as well. Just realized that. <laughs> Fairly easy first room, Gasbo. I don't know. I'm at half shield. You, you, you know my uh, my testicles are tingling right now. <laughs> Come on, down next down. I'll be happier once the Vedmax are down. I'm okay with Teslas being being here on grid. Danavix and Vedmax is what gets me really scared here. I don't like Troglavian ships. I have bad memories of Troglavians touching me the wrong way. 
let's uh laser chips i might die in the first room it's not the first time i died in the first room in, in a very expensive fit so there's that fucking not the damage here messing me up i am at one third of my shield right now i am not happy valkyries do your stuff please do your stuff don't fail me now you can't fail me at this point in time you gotta get this down out of the field because it is webbing me and I can't tank well when I'm being webbed. I'm gonna punch the one crow warp drive just for a second here. I know it's gonna increase my my signature a little bit, but that's okay. Get down with off grid. Uh Bad Mac is next. Bad Mac will be going down. I'm still recharging my sh my, my missiles, but it will be okay. Uh, we're not gonna go close to the Deviant Automata Suppressor because it means death for us. And I, I don't wanna mess with that. Uh, Vedmac, Vedmac is slowly going down. My shields are already pretty low. This is this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. Okay, let's uh, engage the micro drive. We are going to try to fly away here. Let's get some range. If we get some range, we might survive this thing. Uh, otherwise, we look it's looking pretty bad right now. We gotta get all the all the Vedmacs of of the side here. We're gonna go into armor for sure. For sure we're going to go into armor, and that's not going to be looking good for us, but... Bad Mac almost down. Bad Mac almost down. We are in armor now. <laughs> God damn it. First room. First room, and I'm being manhandled here. Uh. <laughs> I guess it's too late to... Uh, too late to overheat, but we're still going to overheat. Because why not? That's all we have left now. That's all we have left. Our shields are slowly recharging. I am in half armor at this point in time. Okay, let's uh, stop the overheating here. We got we got our range. We're almost at the boundary. In fact, no, we haven't breached the boundary yet. If we have breached the boundary, that would have been bad for us. But right, Vedmax upgrade. There's still one more Damovic that's going to pose a danger to us. So let's let's get our drones back here. Let's get the Damovic off my tail. Uh, damn Turglavians, they are the worst creation in the history of New Eden. Never late to overheat. Thank you, Cliff. Never too late to overheat. That's the words of wisdom right there. So let's uh, let's mess with the Teslas now. Alrighty, first room was not good for us. I, I, I should have pulled range a little bit earlier than that, but I was kind of flabbergasted by all the war targets, by all the, uh, the rats here right away. I didn't spot the Vet Max first. I should have gotten off after the Vet Max to begin with. Because Damovics, even though they, they web you, they will not be able to apply too much damage on you. We can't afford to make another mistake like this, though. So we have to be really careful. We are now at one quarter time past in this site. This is T5. Ladies and gentlemen, this is T5. Probably my second ever T5 that I'm running, so I am sweating right here, right now. But we can do it. First room done. First room done. Thank you, laser chips. Thank you. <laughs> Blacklister, I, I like those odds. You know what? I like those odds. I did escape. One of these days, I'm going to make like a compilation video of uh, all of my escapes from the Turgalian sites. I did escape with 0.5% of hollow, something like that on my omen once. <laughs> that, that was kind of fun. Okay, let, let's see what's in this. I predict at least 3 million... <laughs> at least 3 million in uh, loot here. Okay, my, my shield is recharging. I am still okay with that. We are approaching about a third of time left. I don't want to push it much more than that, so I am going to go to the next room as soon as possible, as soon as I pick up this stuff. Ooh, 3 million. Look at that. We are now financially independent. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's watch the MWD. Let's go activate the gates. We don't have much time to waste here. It's now or never. Now or never. Drones are in. Drones are in. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Schnoodles. Drones are in. Letter number underscore second. Hey there, new question. What category are the pirate ships you fight in this series? Cruiser, battleship, etc. So you fight pretty much everything. Uh, Sentinels, watch. Okay, I think this might be an easier room for me to handle, but uh, yeah, last one didn't work out so well, did it? 
So Valkyries away, as usual. Let's get these Sentinels and Watchmen off grid. I don't like their presence. They smell bad. 42 clicks, 41 clicks. Missiles away. Um, I don't need to use my... Don't need to use my, my crop drive just yet. Oop, okay. Nuding party is here. Fire Watcher is here. At 70 clicks, it is nuding me. I don't like that. Ooh, okay. Fire Watchers are really grinding my gears right now. Okay, let me get some range on them at least for a little while. Let's get Watchmen off the grid. As soon as they are out of the grid, we can go to town on these uh, Fire Watchers. So my cap is almost drained. We are about to, to enter the uh, real pain zone right here. Overheat shields? Should I? Yeah, you know what? Why not? Why not? Yeah, let, let, let's overheat. Let's overheat. Lucid Watcher, here we go. Why did I ever agree to do this tier 5? <laughs> Why did I do that? It makes no sense for me. Makes no sense for me to lose my, my prized possession. One of the most expensive ships I own is on the line right now. Okay. My my cap is down. This is it. This is it. There's no more cap left. My my tank is paper thin. Ah. In a world of pain right now, in a world of pain. <laughs> Much is it worth? Probably like about 1.5 billion. I'm less than half shields. Less than half shields right here. Firewatcher next. Okay. We're grinding through them fast. But they're still posing a bit of danger to me right now. Okay, next, next up, next up, next up. Engaging Firewatchers. Firewatchers are killer. So two rooms, in, two rooms in a row. I'm really struggling to keep up with the incoming DPS here. There's some DPS that is being applied to my to my drones here, but not too much. Hila has amazing bonuses towards drones, so we're doing great. Oh, let's keep going here, let's keep going. We, we can do it. We can get to the third room at least. I will not die in the second room. This will not happen on stream. Never ever. I'm, I'm done on dying in the first two rooms. Uh, we don't have any more support for my missiles. My missiles are recharging. The RLML take a sweet ass time to actually recharge. Uh, my Valkyrie is taking way too much damage in the shield for some some weird ass reason, but whatever. We're gonna roll with the punches. Column filament sound a little bit better, huh? <laughs> Learned something good. <laughs> column filament is the way to go. It's the way to go. It's calm, it's nice, it's relaxing, you're actually chill. Ah. Come on, Valkyries, do your do your stuff. Do your stuff. Okay, fireworks are down. Sweet. Let's go to town on these other DPS inducing ships. We will soon be able to apply our Involm. But I think I can actually tank and come in DPS at this point in time. We didn't get to armor. We did not get to armor. We're good. We're halfway time. We're halfway through the timer left. We are okay. We are a-okay. Whew. Getting scared here. I I'm not even sure it's going to be the next room. And I, I, I am petrified right now. It's going to be a Vedmac Nuding Party. No doubt. No doubt. And I mean, last time I ran these sites, I ran the the, uh, the T T5 site. I don't remember if it was a Gamma site or a Firestorm or something along, along those lines, but it was before the update. So I don't know if something was changed to make these sites a little bit harder, but anyway, it's RNG. You can't control RNG, you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Triglavian sites are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. There you go, guys. I provide you, provided you with three quotes for tonight's stream. Go to town. Gonna be Leshek needing party. God damn it, Diablo! Don't, don't you dare wish that upon me. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. Actually, no. Probably Leshek's I could handle. I could handle Leshek's. It's the Vedmax that actually kind, kind of scared me. Okay, let's uh, reload the Kalari Navy. Whew. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know what it is fighting. Oh, it's probably fighting the medium range. What was it, by the way? Automata suppressor. I didn't even notice that. Okay, drones in. Oh, look at that. Six million in loot. Yay. Beautiful. Amazing. Financial, in financial independence right here. The T4 side so far provided way better. 
way better loot. What's my in-game name? It is Tadius Yorkstern. Here we go. I'm going to pull it up on stream for you for like half a second here. T-A-T-I-U-S space J-O-R-G-S-T-E-R-N. That is my main character in-game name. Uh, Yeah, that's me. That's me. That's me. You should recharge before going in. The my cloud. Good advice, but come on, balls deep. We have no time. I I got burned on not making the timer before, so I just want to see what's next. I don't want to know what's now. Oh god damn, this is this is too scary. This is too scary. This is uh, this is gonna give me a heart attack here. Valkyrie's away. Valkyrie's away. Look at all this bullshit that's being aimed at me right now. All right. Obfuscator. Obfuscator. I can handle these guys, right? These are the, um, what do you want to call them? The Seekers, right? As long as I keep my speed, I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. Just, just gotta make sure I keep my speed. As long as they don't mute me, I, I'll be okay. I'll be A-okay. Whew, okay. Okay, I, I can relax now. I can feel my breath going in my lungs. I can feel my sphincters relaxing. <laughs> We're good here. We're good. The squishy, perfect gas both. Perfect. You are reassuring me. It's like a warm cuddle in a thunderstorm. It's exactly what I needed right now. Reassurance that these guys are squishy, even though they are kind of hurting my shield right now. Let me want much my MWD once again. I don't think I'm ready to actually relax and um, let them punch me. I can't take many punch punches at this point in time. Come on, let's do this. Keep range, you might get smooshed. That's right, Mike. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, that's right. I that's what I'm trying to do. That's what we'll keep doing. By the way, I'm sorry if I missed your chat. I'm really sorry. This last side, as you might expect, took all of my concentration. <laughs> all of my might. This is it. This is it for all the marbles. I'm fighting to keep this healer alive. I don't want to lose another healer. The last one hurt me a lot. That was the loss in a T3 dark side that was like zero seconds left, everything was killed. Didn't make didn't make that jump. Did not make that jump. But almost almost out. Take my energy. Thank you, Blacklister. I will take all of it. Thank you, Kiwi Outlaw. By the way, badass name, Kiwi Outlaw. That's that's one of the most badass names I've I've seen in my livestream so far. <laughs> okay, my 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 capacitor is saying nope, so let's slow down. Let's start pulsing our MWD a little bit, a little bit here, but we don't want to get out of range of this anomaly here, because then we're going to get hurt by the environment. Uh, missiles still recharging. Let's let's get more missiles in the mix here. Still lots and lots of these ships on grid, and we have quarter. We have a quarter time left. We have five minutes left. Less than five minutes left in this site. Hopefully, we're going to make it. I don't know if you will. I I will gun for the exit if I have to. I will not stay for the loot. I learned that mistake once. I made that mistake once. In fact, maybe maybe we'll be smart. Let, let's be smart for once. We will be smart on stream. That never happened before. Let's get closer here. Let's... Uh, okay. MWD. You can relax now, MWD. We're going to activate our missiles. That's not going to take away too much from our um, DPS here. There we go. And get back to attacking these ships. Let's take a look at what's inside this cargo con container. Pick it up and off we go. Go get loot now. Thank you guys. Great minds think alike. Uh, okay, here we go. Eight, eight missiles left in my, in my missile launchers. I'm relaxing now, as you can tell by the speed of my speech. I can breathe now. There's less and less of these guys. At this point in time, we just gotta be careful about applying the DPS in the right time. I'm not really worried about tanking, tanking everything right. 400 million. F me sideways. There's no way. Yeah, because this thing costs a lot. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna loot that. I'm gonna loot that. I'm gonna take that. And now we're gonna just orbit. Orbit this thing at like one, one, one kilometer. Sharing? No. <laughs> what do you mean sharing? <laughs> I've never gotten that much loot from, from, from these sites before. 
I can't believe the skill book is so expensive though. 380 million? That's a little bit, a little bit too much if you ask me. But that's the estimated price, so we're gonna check out what it's actually worth afterwards. Okay, we're still recharging our shields. I mean, not shields, uh, missiles. Shields are constantly being recharged. What was that? That was very cool effects. I think it was like a... I'm not even sure what that was, to be honest. Okay, we're good, we're good. We got... Two minutes, two and a half minutes. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, maybe we can't. I don't know anymore. I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit scared now. We got way too many targets here still. Seven. We got seven ships to chew through in two and a half minutes. I don't like these odds. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like these odds. I'm trying to hurry. Are we overheat missiles? Okay, you know what? You're right. You're right. We're gonna overheat missiles at this point in time. I just gotta watch my heat. I don't want to lose them pre prematurely. Come on, Valkyries, do your stuff. I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to uh, recall my Valkyries if I don't have to. Just gonna go. I'm gonna go straight j jump for it. Can't take the gate out until the kill. Yeah, exactly. I gotta kill all of them. Five remaining. Five remaining. We have one and a half minutes. Not good. <laughs> Damn it, this is not good. Oh, this is gonna be another very close one. I can't believe this. Can't believe this. 120. 120 left. I mean, if we start hitting the reload on the missiles, we're, we're done. We're done here. Okay, okay, they're going down. They're going down like flies. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. One minute remaining. Three and a half more targets to go through. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Are you guys ready? For explosions. One way or another, it's gonna be explosions here. I'm out of missiles. I'm not gonna have time to recharge, to re reload the missiles here. This is it. Woof. 40 seconds remaining. Valkyries, do your shit and let's get out. I'm, I'm not waiting for them. I'm not waiting for them. I'm gonna punch the gate right away. <laughs> the final countdown. That's right, Gauntlet Dead. That's right. It's taking too long. 20. 20 seconds. 20 seconds remaining. Here we go. 19. Somebody give me a 10 count. Okay, we can, we can do it. We can do it. We can actually recall. Yes, 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 yes. Recall, recall, recall. 10 seconds remaining. Woo! We did it. <laughs> I think we did it. Warp, warp, take the gate. Take the gate. Ah... <sighs> Wow. Wow. No. I, how did I die? I get the kill report. No! <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I'm gonna petition this stuff. I was out. I was out. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> you know what? In my heart, that was a victory. <laughs> <laughs> Valkyries made you die? Probably. Probably. Oh, man. I did it, though. I did it. The gate was activated. <laughs> CC, please. No, I want to actually petition. That was, that was a joke. I want to actually petition this. That was good, though. I can't believe this. My heart is 400 million richer. That's right. I lost it all the way there. I left it all there. I can't run any more T5 sites. That was my last healer. I own zero helos now. <laughs> but that was tons of fun. Flat missiles, hey. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's, that's what it is. You know what? That goes into my clips. I'm going to make a video about this. This is this is hilarious. I've heard about this. You need to leave within five seconds or something because it counts the jumping time as part of the timer. Um, Now it does, yes. Before you didn't. Before I actually warped out after, after the timer hit zero, I uh, somehow managed to warp out. But now, yeah. You make it zero if you're not out, you, you're dead. I thought I was out though, because the gate was activated. Can't believe this. I thought I had it too. I, I was so happy. I was so happy. You could see the happiness in my face. <laughs> and then that's it. It was all over. Oh well. Guys, thank you so much, so much for staying with me. That was great. Appreciate you guys hanging out. We are going to end the stream at this point in time. Let's take a look at who else is streaming EVE Online right now. If there's anybody that we can give some uh, some love to. 
Uh, who's streaming here? Channel Thayer. I don't. I don't know anybody who's streaming at this point in time. You guys have any su suggestions for your favorite streamer that you would like me to pass on the viewers to? Because honestly, I don't know anybody who's streaming right now on Twitch. Salrox is streaming? No way, I don't, I, don't, I don't see him streaming. He's probably streaming uh, something else. Is he? All right, let's uh, let's give Jarge Sarn. You know what? Yeah, let's give Jarge Sarn some love. Um, let me copy his um, his Twitch page because I can't actually host him. But everybody else, thank you so much for staying with me. I appreciate it. That was a great stream, great end of the stream. I actually enjoyed it. Never mind that I lost the healer. That's all good. <laughs> that was great. The link is there. Please give him a reload rate. Hashtag there. Once you see him, everybody else, thank you so much for staying with me. Really appreciate it. Have a great night. That was great.